do we have a dynamic 75, 80 year old man? New ideas. Uh, that has some new ideas that aren't really <laughs> new, but you know. Well, like 1800s, like middle of the 1800s ideas. <laughs> right. That's yes. what I'm looking That's for. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. Somebody who's, you know, somebody you know, that, you know, the founders didn't mm. get it, but Marx. Oh, oh he got it. He Marx. Got it. And that Friedrich, white-haired guy. Those guys, man. They yeah. got it. They when got they it. were in Germany coming yeah. up with this stuff, they, they got, it. got it. They, they got, got it. it. They were really good. Is there an element, though, where the Democrats are just not, they're not embracing this enough. They're not just going for it. I mean, you bring out Bernie Sanders, who's in his 70s. You bring out a Joe Biden, Elizabeth also Warren. Also in his late seventies. Yeah. Uh Warren is what, in her early seventies? Yeah. Uh, you know, she's the she's the spring chicken of that particular group. <laughs> right. But it just feels like you're not really owning it. Like if you yeah. want someone with real these experience, are you don't is go it, with these youngins. These are posers. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Right. Go for somebody with real experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have we'd like to uh draft somebody for the Democratic Party. We went and we went online. We looked for the oldest Democrat uh, in America, <laughs> and we yes. found him. You want to give his? Uh, you want to give his history bit? I would love to, Glenn. Uh, he was born on January fourth, nineteen nineteen. Nineteen nineteen. Yes. Okay. So he's he's one hundred. He's one hundred years 100. old. Okay. okay. He'll, he'll be he'll be one hundred and one when he's sworn into office. Nice. He served nice. in the U.S. House of Representatives yes. in New York's third district uh -huh. from nineteen sixty five to nineteen seventy three. Oh my God. Why would we let this guy go? <laughs> I. Why are they not going after him? I don't know. So, he, he he joined the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, in 1973, and served all the way to 1981. Now, I've I've been clamoring for Dick Gephardt. This guy's even better. <laughs> this guy is this even guy's better. Oh, no, no, no. He's better than Dick Gephardt. Oh, come on. Gephardt's only 79. This is... It's time to draft <laughs> Lester L. Wolf for 2020. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lester is... I mean, and I got his slogan. <laughs> He's a wolf in old man skin. <laughs> Uh, that's a right? great slogan. So <laughs> he'll be aggressive. He'll get you your socialism. Lester L. Wolf for 2020. He'll be it's 100 it's great. and one in 2020. Now we have the campaign art made up. We'll <laughs> yeah. post this on glenbeck.com mm -hmm. here. Uh, you're seeing He's a good looking man. Good looking, for, good looking uh, for man. For 100, you kidding me? For 100. Now they couldn't get him to look up into the lens of the camera for this shot. That he's we're 100. using, but he's, you know, he's deep in reflection. This guy has what 20, 30 <laughs> years more experience than some of these Democratic ch uh, challengers. He was closer to the new ideas. Yes, yeah, way closer. He was there, I mean, think about it, he was he born, was almost there. He was there. He you know his probably his first president he's remembering is like Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't. So really? Not at one. Well. You know, he, well, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe as his first uh, maybe. memory, you might have then he, but he uh, went through all the FDR stuff. Yeah. I mean, this guy is a guy who has real experience, mm -hmm. not like these uh, mm -hmm. young candidates of today who uh, have, like Joe Biden, like Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. That whipper and snapper, those whippersnappers don't even know. I know I want <laughs> Lester L. Wolf for president in 2020.